Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm gonna to react to the do's and don'ts of visiting Chicago. Now, Chicago is a place that, you know, has it gets a lot of press, some great, some not so great. I hear that, you know, despite how beautiful a lot of Chicago is, there are certain places that you maybe shouldn't visit as a tourist. And I'm really hoping that this video, which is by Mark at Walter's World, I love Walter's World, great channel. I'm hoping this really breaks it down for me, so let's do it. Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World. Today we're that? here at Chicago Millennium Park. We've got the bean behind us. And today oh, what we have for you the are bean. the don'ts of visiting Chicago. And this city is fantastic. Tons of great museums, awesome people, amazing food, eh, weather. Eh, sometimes it's good, <laughs> sometimes it's bad. Do they call Chicago the Windy City, right? Is it really, is it cold over there? Like, But the thing is, even in great cities like Chicago, we got the things you want to do, and we got the things you don't do. So the first don't I have for you, and probably the most important don't I have for you when you come to Chicago is don't drive and don't deal with the parking. Look, really? Chicago traffic is horrible all year round, all day long, all the time. Whether you're wow. heading out to O'Hare, the airport, driving here downtown, taking the interstate around the city, driving is just chaotic here. And the thing is, the people are very aggressive drivers too, so it could be a little hair-raising, white knuckly when you are <laughs> driving here in Chicago. So just have a heads up for that. So if you can, just, just don't drive when you're here. Mm -hmm. And also going along with that, don't deal with the parking, oh my gosh. Parking downtown Chicago is insane expensive. Somewhere between college tuition and- $41. Sh th hold on whoa this cannot be for one day surely not a mortgage payment i think that's where co where parking is here in chicago so what i recommend is come in with the train fly in use public transport whatever try not to drive when you are here now the thing is if you are driving to chicago and you gotta park and stuff like that get the parking at your hotel and just leave it use public transport use uber use whatever you can walk around the city easily because you don't want to have to get out try to drive find another place to park play another insane expensive parking rate when you're there just don't do that okay and that kind of leads into our second don't is but using uber everywhere that must you know get expensive but then again if you're within the city should maybe what 30 bucks a day for three different journeys don't worry about not driving because the cta the chicago transit authority actually has really good public transportation here in chicago i mean this is what public transportation should be in the u.s they've got the l the elevated train going around that'll take you all over the place the bus system here awesome and the thing is it goes to pretty much every tourist place you want to go as a tourist you can go there on public transportation. Awesome. And what's cool is actually the price for the public transportation here in Chicago is actually a fair price too. So it's really cool. So make sure you do use that public transportation when you are here. Now my next stone for you here in Chicago is don't worry about being bored. This city is chock full of work. That bean is absolutely enormous. <laughs> Why is it so big? It looks great though, but it is huge. World class museums, festivals, concert, all kinds of awesome stuff to do. You've got the Art Institute of Chicago, one of the best art museums in the world. You got the Shedd Aquarium, one of the top aquariums in the world. You got the Field Museum, one of the best natural history museums in the world. You got the Museum of Science and Industry, one of the best science museums in the world. You see where I'm going here? The Planetarium, there's all kinds of great stuff here. Broadcast Museum, you got all kinds of great museums here. You don't like museums? That's fine. Hit the theater here, pay a fractional price you pay in New York and see fantastic shows at the theaters here in Chicago and around. Oh, you wanna do stuff with your kids? Great, you got you got Great America, you can go to the amusement parks that are here. There's all kinds of amazing things to do here in Chicago. So you're never really bored when you're here because there's always something else to do. What else do we need to do? What's next, what's next, what's next? And if you What's the uh, the nightlife like in Chicago? You know, what are the, uh, you know, the, the, the pubs and clubs and bars? What, what kind of scene is it? Like, what kind of music is there? You come here in the summertime. I know I'm not here in the summertime right now, but you come in the summer, there's all kinds of great festivals going on when you're here. My personal favorite is the Taste of Chicago, which is right behind the camera here. You go there and try different foods from different restaurants throughout the city. Oh my God, it is a fantastic experience. So you've always got something to do. Whether you want to watch sports, yeah, you can watch the Bulls play, you can watch the Bears, the Cubs, the White Sox, you can see them, the Fire. I mean, <laughs> there's so cool. many sports to do. Watch, see, things to do, bike riding, all kinds of stuff here. 
believe me, you will never be bored when you're here in Chicago. Oh yeah, there's also great nightlife, you know, Rush Street or go uh -huh. party in Wrigleyville. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff to do when you're here. So don't worry about being bored, okay? And the thing is, a lot of people don't realize is when you're a tourist, a lot of times you stay downtown or in the loop. You know, oh, I'm gonna go to the Magnificent Mile, then I'll stay in the loop, I'll stay down in this area here. What you don't realize is, don't just stay in the loop in the downtown area. Go out and explore. There's really cool suburbs to go check out. Go to the North Shore, go see Evanston, go head out and go to, you know, go to Gurney Yes and go to the Great America, stuff like that. The Lincoln Park Zoo, go out to Greek Town. There's all That is a cool train, double decker. Kinds of things you can see and do in the Chicago area that's not just in the loop because as a tourist most of the time we're kind of down here in the loop in the downtown area kind of stuff and maybe a little bit north of there on Michigan Avenue and we don't get out there and see things so make sure you go out and explore and that public transportation will take you out there okay you can grab a metro train hit some of the suburbs as well so that is really kind of a cool thing um, another don't I guess I should say is if you're going to be staying downtown which you probably will don't expect a lot going on after six or seven o'clock at night downtown because this is more of a work area so people go oh. home so it's like a ghost town at night here and on the weekends so do have a heads up for that you know keep your eyes open a little bit more in the evening time here because honestly so where where do you go then like where where are the good places to go in chicago in in the evening or at night you know if you want to if you want to party like Someone let me know. You're down here, one, maybe to go to a show at one of the theaters, maybe go to, out to eat, but there's not a lot of things going on here. Also, the shops here downtown actually close earlier than the malls and the suburbs and stuff like that. So just have a heads up for that. So kind of going on with that ghost town kind of feeling is sometimes you think ghost town, oh, should I be worried? Well, that kind of leads into another don't I have for here in Chicago. Don't be lackadaisical with your safety here. Probably oh. the most dangerous thing for a tourist though is when you cross the street because the drivers are a little nuts here and they're quite <laughs> aggressive. So do have a heads up when you're crossing the street. Don't just stand at the end or stand in the street when you're getting ready to go. Make sure you're paying attention. That's one thing. Another thing, if you feel uncomfortable in any part, you, you don't feel right, go hop into a store or hop into a restaurant. It's okay, call a cab, call an Uber and, and, and head out. I mean, there are some parts of Chicago you don't want to go to. I'm sure in the comment section you'll hear a lot of things down there. But what I'd recommend is ask your hotel, hey, we're looking to go here. Is it okay? Is that okay? Just ask them. And that's one thing you see anywhere in the world. There's good parts of town. There's bad parts of town. Yeah. So do have a heads up for that. Yeah, I hear a lot about the, uh, the, the, the gang violence in Chicago. This is, you know, another thing. I'm sure there's like, uh, which areas do you guys recommend just avoiding? Like, let me know. And is the gang violence as, as serious as, you know, some people make it out to be, or is it exaggerated a little bit? And do ask where, where you should go or shouldn't go, because the city is fantastic, but there are issues you gotta think about. Always keep your eye out. I mean, some of the things might just annoy you. It's not really a safety thing. You'll have guys, you know, you'll have guys, hey, can I have a dollar, can I have a dollar? Man, just, all you gotta say, either give them a dollar, or say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, man, or just walk by. They won't give you really any trouble there, but do, be smart when you are here in Chicago because there are parts of towns you shouldn't go to. And if you're not sure, I would ask your concierge, hey, this is where we're gonna go today. What do you think? Is that okay there? And they'll let you know. And I would really just say is use your usual travel sense. You know, if you're coming down here and where a lot of tourists are, yeah, keep your wallet in your front pocket and stuff like that. But overall, I haven't had really any problems in Chicago, but I know there are problems, so do have a heads up. But honestly, this, the biggest safety thing for you as a tourist is crossing that street, okay? Now, are the drivers in Chicago really this crazy? <laughs> like if you're in the street, are they gonna be like, let's get him, let's get him. <laughs> Another kind of safety thing I have for you is, you no know, said sign behind me says caution ice. Look, don't mess around with the falling snow and falling ice. If you come here in the winter, it can be dangerous. You see the building up there with that slant? Yeah, the, the ice packs up, the snow packs up, it falls. It can be dangerous, so don't mess around with those. I know some tourists are like, oh, that's a cool picture, I wanna get that do have a heads up with those. And, and I guess another don't I'll kind of go along with that is don't think you shouldn't visit Chicago in the winter. I'm here in the winter and the thing is the people in Chicago know that it's very cold and windy and snowy. It can be here in the winter time in Chicago and they have prepared the city for you. That means the museums, all the fantastic museums, the restaurants, all this stuff, you can have a great time inside when you're here. So 
don't be scared for coming here in the winter months. Now, I'm not gonna say it's the best time to come because you come here in January with the wind and you're walking like this, <laughs> maybe you're not gonna have as good of a time as you came here in the spring or the summer where you can hit the beaches and stuff like that and go out on Lake Michigan and do an architectural boat tour and things like that. There's a, it's a better to come in the summer and spring, than, but don't think you can't come in the winter time, okay? And speaking of some tourist stuff, don't forget to do one of those architectural boat tours when you're here. Look, this is kind of the home of the skyscraper and you have amazing architecture throughout the city. I mean, I would say, don't forget to stretch your neck out before you come to Chicago. Wow, that's a nice, be uh, and seeing that's a nice array of buildings. This, honestly, this could be London, like some areas, like very, obviously apart from the Chicago Tribune sign, but yeah, this is very, European this look and all these really cool skyscrapers and all this really cool all these really cool buildings You know the Tribune Tower the Wrigley building. Yes, the Sears Tower or Willis Tower. However you spell it <laughs> um, There's all kinds of the Hancock building going around. Oh my gosh There's so many fantastic buildings to take in and architecture to come in and if you take that architectural boat tour on the Chicago River It's really cool because they give you the history and the explanations of the buildings and the styles And it really brings a lot more out so when you walk around the city you really get a a lot more bang for your buck when you look at these fantastic buildings. Now you notice I had a little problem saying Sears, Willis, Willis, Sears Tower. Look, my next don't for you is don't call it Willis Tower with the locals. Look, it's always going to be the Sears Tower. Now, if you might not know this, it's actually spelled W-I-L-L-I-S Tower, but you pronounce it Sears Tower, okay? Just so you know. <laughs> Okay, I mean, it's one of those things. It's changed names, okay? And the thing is, Sears Tower or Willis Tower was at one time the tallest building in the world. And they oh. actually have an observation deck at the top. You can go see. It's probably one of the most popular pictures, aside from the bean, that I see from people when they go to Chicago. But I'm going to tell you something if for going to the Willis slash Sears Tower. Don't feel that you have to pay to go up and get a great view of the city, and that's the only place to get it. What I recommend, go to the Hancock Building. 96th floor, there's a bar there. It's free to go up, and nice. you have free views of this beautiful city. But also what's cool is the drinks up there are actually pretty fairly priced, so why not head to the Hancock, go up the 96th floor, hit the bar there, have a great drink while you look at this great city. That's a much better way to spend your money that you'd spend going up to the top of the Sears slash Willis Tower. Spend that on a drink in the Hancock building. That, that's what I would recommend. Now, some other tourist things you should know about. One thing is, if you're gonna to go to Navy Pier, which is a very much a tourist place, realize, don't expect to see locals at Navy Pier. Navy Pier is, I mean, it's really developed for tourists. It's yeah, this is the thing. In any kind of big city, there's gonna be places where it's just abundantly tourist. Like in London, if you go to the, um, if you go to the Millennium Eye, or London Eye, that's what it's called now, 99.999% of people in that queue are gonna to be tourists and in the nearby vicinity, like Oxford Circus, mostly tourists. So I think it's the same principle anywhere, in any big city. It's nice for tourists to go to. I go there because I'm a tourist. I'm not from Chicago. I enjoy that. But the locals will tell you, oh, that's a tourist thing. So don't expect to see the locals there. Another thing I guess I should say about the locals, don't expect to hear that Chicago accent. <laughs> you know, you saw on TV back in the day, oh, Alex like Sassage in Chicago, the bears, the bulls. People don't talk like that here anymore, okay? Yes, you'll find a few people that do occasionally. But in general, the Chicago accent sadly has kind of died off. So you're not going to hear that when you're here. Another don't with the people here. Don't trust everyone that tells you they're from Chicago because most likely they're from the suburbs. Actually, mm. Chicago, the city proper, is actually relatively small and most of the people in the Chicago metropolitan area live out in the suburbs. So that person you meet that says, oh yeah, I'm from Chicago, they might be from Evanston or they might be from Naperville or Arlington Heights or Tinley Park or wherever. And the thing is, if you have people that are from real Chicago, like they're born here in Chicago, they grew up in Chicago, in Chicago, Chicago, they will call out those people every single day. Oh, really? What's true? Where'd you grow up? Which school did you go to? Oh, oh, you mean you're from Naperville? Oh, right. So you're not really from Chicago. You're from the. Why not just be proud about what area you were, you know, brought up in? Like, do you get extra sort of credit if you were born in Chicago or something? You know. Uh... <laughs> Just, just be proud of where you were born. Herbs, okay? So that's one of the little fun thing you'll see with the locals here. Now, another thing tourists love to do when they travel is eat, and Chicago is no exception to those eating cities. And my don't for that is don't 
don't, don't, don't come to Chicago <laughs> on a diet. They love huge portion sizes. They love their food. They love their meat. They love their everything here. And you're going to eat a lot when you're here. I mean, the deep dish pizza here, the Chicago style deep dish pizza. Yeah, it's like this thick and you will just be oh, so wow, full. And the thing the is, there's so many great popcorn. restaurants here. It's not just the deep dish pizza and the Chicago hot dog. No, oh. there's so much more here. Go to Greek town. Oh, is that pulled pork? Mm. Oh. I have amazing Greek food. Little Italy, there's great Me there's great Mexican food here. I have some great Polish food, German food. There's so many different nationalities and ethnicities here in Chicago, and they've brought their food here. So you have amazing food when you're here. So don't come on a diet, just go and enjoy everything, all right? Now, I do have a couple don'ts for some traditional Chicago things. One, if you get the, uh, the deep dish pizza here in Chicago, don't think you can finish the pizza yourself. I know a lot of people go, oh, I get a pan pizza from Pizza Hut. I get a medium and finish it myself. Oh, no, 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 no. That, that's like their tiny baby little tiny brother versus the Chicago style deep dish pizza. This stuff, I'm talking like, I can barely finish two slices. Wow. That's how thick and big it is with all the meat and cheese and then the sauce. To be honest, that does look crazy thick. Is that like an inch and a half or two inches? It looks like that thick. It looks great though. It looks like pepperoni, a bit of bacon. Is that? Oh, meatball over there. It's on top, the really thick crust. I mean, it will really fill you up. I had some last night and I was smart. I got the individual size. The guy next to me, he was a tourist from England. He's like, oh, I'll get a small. That's what I get at Pizza Hut at home. I'm like, dude, get the individual. He's like, no, no, I'll get it. And he sat there, he got through two and maybe a half pieces and didn't eat the end of him. And he's like, uh, I can't eat anymore. I'm like, I told you. And so do have a heads up for that. Also, don't be surprised if it takes them about 45 minutes to cook that deep dish pizza because it takes a while to be there. Also, don't let them talk you into getting appetizers. It's going to be enough food anyway when you get the pizza, okay? So instead of ordering food appetizers, just drink some of the good Chicago beer when you're here. Revolution Brewery, Two Brothers Brewery, uh, maybe get some Goose Island when you're here. I mean, a 312 is always good with pizza, so do have that. Another don't with the food, if you get that Chicago dog, you know, people always say, well, don't put ketchup on your Chicago dog. It's true, it's got so wow. much other stuff on there, it doesn't need it. I mean, it's got pickles and, and, and relish. And I have never seen anything like this before. So this is a hot dog with jalapenos green pepper onions looks like i don't know what that is <laughs> jeez mustard and tomatoes wow. and mustard and and like sweet jalapenos like kind of things on top it's so good and it's got so wow. many other flavors that it mix perfectly together that you don't need the ketchup so don't worry about that one of the great things about Chicago is actually it has something for everybody, whether you like culture, whether you like food, whether you like sports, whether you like art, there's all kinds of stuff for everybody. So what I want to say is don't forget to bring the whole family when you come here to Chicago because they have stuff for everybody. Yes, you can do the amusement parks like Great American, stuff like that, or you can do the Art Institute or the Science Museum of Science Industry. My kids love it every time we go there. We spend an entire day there. And that's what's so cool about Chicago. The people are friendly. They're cool with the kids being here. There's stuff for them all the time, so don't think this is just a romantic getaway place. This is actually a really cool place for the whole family to come to, okay? And, and speaking of places you should go with a family, or maybe not with a family, it's up to you. Go into a game at Wrigley, and I would say, don't think baseball's too boring to go to a game at Wrigley Field. For those of you who don't know, baseball is a very popular sport here in the U.S., but a lot of people that don't know it think it's pretty boring. And actually, people that actually know baseball think it's kind of boring sometimes. <laughs> but the thing is, going to a game at Wrigley to see the Chicago Cubs is like the quintessential, I know it's my favorite word in these videos, quintessential Chicago sports visit, okay? Yeah, to be honest, I would definitely, because like a baseball game is what, about four hours or something like that? Three, four hours, maybe even longer. It's almost like a whole day activity. You know, you can go there, chill out. Someone actually said it almost has like a carnival type environment, atmosphere. Yeah, it's, to me it sounds like a lot of fun anyway. Hey, the whole area, it's called Wrigleyville. There's tons of bars, restaurants, all kinds of stuff. It's like, it should be called Partyville because before the game, during the game, and after the games, they have party time, okay? And you're drinking your beers and having your fun and going to watch the Cubs play. And what's cool, as a tourist, the Cubs play during the day a lot of times. In the summer, they have 81 home games, okay? Most of them are during the day. So you can see some sights during the day. Then the afternoon, go head out to a game, take it in. Sitting in the bleachers is the must, but 
don't think that there's assigned seats in the bleachers. You just kind of go where you want to go. Yes, you buy overpriced beer, but it's such a great experience to go to the game that really don't pass it up if you have a chance here in Chicago, okay? Um, another don't I have for you has to do with the airport. Look, there's, there's O'Hare and there's Midway here. Um, O'Hare is probably the airport you're probably going to fly into or out of. And my, my don't for you is don't mess with O'Hare. Look, if you've got a flight out and they say be there two hours early, be there two hours early, okay? <laughs> they say be there three hours early, be there three hours early. To be honest though, this is how I would approach any airport. You know, I, I'm the kind of person that, you know, I want to get in, I want to check in early. I want to, you know, I get anxiety if I feel like I'm going to miss the flight. Oh my God, it's horrible. So yeah, I, I, I take this to heart right here. <laughs> early because O'Hare is infamous for sometimes long check-in lines, long security checkpoints, stuff like that, and it can take a long time. And I know a lot of people that have missed flights because they didn't get through security fast enough. So don't mess around with O'Hare. And if you're flying in internationally and you're transferring through Chicago, you'll fly into Terminal 5 and then you got to take the train to one of the other terminals. The thing is when you do that, you go out and the train is outside security. So you have to go oh. on that and then go back through security oh. again to get back in the other terminal so do wow. have a heads up for that it will take you some time so don't oh my god you gotta do security twice mess around with O'Hare okay a couple more dumps for you when you are going around Chicago don't expect to find a lot of public toilets you'll see a lot of restaurants and places will say no no free public toilet or something like that so you might need to grab a drink or something for to use their bathrooms another don't have for you if you're gonna take the metro out to the suburbs don't forget to pick up your ticket at the ticket station before you get on the metro because you can buy the tickets on the metro but they do charge you like five bucks more ah. so if you're going to go out there save the five bucks don't forget to pick up the ticket before you get on so just a couple other ones i want to put in we'll go back to the pretty bean for some more stuff and my last don't for you here in chicago is don't pass up the second city. Look, Chicago should be the first city you want to visit when you come to the U.S. because of the culture, because of the sports, because of the festivals, because of the awesome people. You will love Chicago, the Midwest feel here, the friendly people, the fun stuff to do. It really is a fantastic city to visit. That's why when you talk to people that come to the U.S., you'll see an inordinate amount of people say, I really love Chicago because this city rocks, okay? So I hope this helps you know a bit more ah. about Chicago so you're more prepared when you do come here. Here. We have some other videos. I have some really, really old videos. Interesting. This is giving me a lot of food for thought. Like, Chicago wasn't in the list of uh, places that I was going to visit uh, in March slash April when I'm in the States. But yeah, just, just for that bean, that huge uh, chrome bean, <laughs> I definitely want to get a picture standing next to that thing. But yeah, great video from, uh, from Mark once again. Love that guy's channel. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.